केंद्रीय वाणिज्य और उद्योग उपभोक्ता मामले खाद्य और सार्वजनिक वितरण और कपड़ा मंत्री पीयूष गोयल ने नई दिल्ली में भारत ओमान संयुक्त व्यापार परिषद की दसवीं बैठक को संबोधित करते हुए कहा कि भारत पहले से ही खाड़ी सहयोग परिषद देशों के साथ एक व्यापक व्यापार समझौते पर विचार कर रहा है जिसमें ओमान एक महत्वपूर्ण सदस्य है मंत्री ने कहा कि भारत और ओमान के बीच कल हुई संयुक्त आयोग की बैठक जो लंबे समय से लंबित थी बहुत उपयोगी रही very warm relations between the people of the two countries is still looking at trade in the region of 78 billion dollars i mean trade that investments on both sides are still hovering at about 5 6 billion dollars despite so many years of wonderful engagements relations friendships and therefore i think all the engagement that we may do in the joint commission meeting all the friendship that uh, the minister and i may build up the wonderful leadership that is majesty and prime minister uh, mr modi both give to this partnership the warm relations that businesses have with each other all of this the confluence of all these very good signs should and must lead to a significant increase in our business to business engagement and therefore i am truly delighted that you have brought with you a very powerful power pack large delegation of business persons and sports persons also i am quite confident that the more we look at each other the more we get to know each other the potential will finally get tapped in fact uh, as we were discussing yesterday uh, the late uh, majesty uh, his majesty sultan kabuz is somebody who every indian holds in very high esteem and somebody who brought the relationship to much much greater heights during his uh, leadership and of course he was conferred with the gandhi peace prize in 2021 a very rare distinction given to international leaders Uh, we also had a uh, national day of mourning uh, at his very very sad demise. He's the architect of this close relationship, and I think all of us owe it to him. I think it's it's in a way a duty that we are all enjoined to uh, implement and fulfil that we really turn his vision to reality. We take this partnership to the heights it. really deserves to be at and i am sure our business to business engagement led by both the chambers of commerce will result in some very important outcomes will supplement the efforts of the government of both countries to prepare the ground for greater engagement we have discussed several items uh, where Uh, there are certain issues that need to be resolved. We may consider doing a preferential trade agreement with Oman to begin with, because we are looking for a comprehensive agreement between GCC region and India, also which is under active discussion. But all of this can truly happen when businesses put that exert that. Pressure or that that enthusiasm, which can then help us in the political leadership to take bold decisions. It's the businesses who have to demonstrate their interest on what they want us to, how much they are willing to go ahead, how much they believe they can work with each other uh, together, whether in goods, whether in services, whether in food security, which is an important element where Oman and India can work together. Whether in the startup ecosystem, where India has a lot to offer to, in terms of the innovation and uh, ideation, I must also acknowledge the gratitude, the care that was uh, shown for the very large Indian diaspora, over 600,000 Indians who live in Oman. The care, concern, and the love that was showered by the by the local people of Oman. 
for all the expatriate Indians who are working there, during the COVID period, you took care of them like they were your own, and we truly, truly appreciate that. These are two countries that can work together, that can really help improve the lives of a billion plus people in India, maybe the five, six million, uh, million people in Oman, two different economies, two different sides of economies. Together, we can move mountains. And I invite all the Omanis business persons to build upon the excellent brotherhood and friendship that our leaders, that both uh, Kess and I have uh, shared over the last two days, and I'm confident will continue to share over a very, very long time. Let's all work together. Let's make this partnership truly, truly a long-term vision for huge outcomes for the people and businesses in both countries. A warm welcome once again to all my friends from Oman who have come to India. Thank you very much.